guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is a Wednesday, so it's what you're working on Wednesday. Today I got a new whip started. Um, I literally just started it this morning. It's still morning, <laughs> but earlier this morning. And it's living in my cute little bug project bag that I made. <laughs> I love this print. I wish I had more of this, but this is like an older print. I think I got it gifted. I either got it gifted to me from someone through the mail or I bought... Um, it might have been some of the fabric that was in a lot that I bought off of Facebook Marketplace. But I can't remember. <laughs> but I made, I think, a big project bag and someone bought it. And uh, then I had some leftovers, so I made myself a little one. Because I love these bugs. It's so cute. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> so I started a new pattern and it has nothing to do with the time of the year. <laughs> it is a Halloween pattern. Because if you, any of you know me, uh, I absolutely love Halloween and Christmas. And today I was looking for a new pattern to start because I don't have any whips going right now. Uh, other than one, technically, but it doesn't count. And I'll talk about that in a stitcher stash that I'm going to put out tomorrow. <laughs> but, um, anyways, and I found this little pattern. I somehow looked up, I was looking up, um, I typed in Halloween just to see if anyone put out new Halloween patterns on Ravelry. And then I was like, well, I'm going to be more specific. And I typed in witch because I wanted to make a little witch. So I started a little witch and it's called, it's a free pattern and it's called smallish <laughs> witch and it's on amigurumi to go. I'll link it down below in the description box if you want to check it out. And yeah, so I started it. I just got its head so far. Boop. I just got the little head. <laughs> I already stitched on the nose, kind of. I stink at making those um, noses like that. I don't know what that's called. But I got the safety eyes in there. And I, I just decreased the head and I'm starting to increase on the body. I got to do most of the body in green and then I'm going to switch. It switches to white, I believe. The one that I'm doing, because you can do it any colors you want, obviously, but I'm doing it just like a regular black and white and green witch. <laughs> so her clothes will be uh, black, her hat will be black, her hair will be black, and then her stockings are going to be black and white striped. Um, so I'm just, I'm making her, she, the pattern calls for a G hook, but I went down to an E hook. A G hook is a 4 slash 4.5, because there's two Gs, uh, and the E hook is a 3.5 millimeter. Uh, I've just been favoring that lately. I have really tight tension when I crochet and it's, I feel like it's gotten worse. <laughs> like, um, now to make my amigurumis look the way, you know, solid and not have holes, I have to use an e-hook. And my tension keeps getting tighter. I'm going to end up making amigurumis with little bit tiny hooks. <laughs> but, um, anyway, so this is a good tension for it. I think there's no holes. I haven't stuffed it yet though. <laughs> so I'll have to stuff it and give her some head shape. But that's her little face so far. I'm going to put a little mouth on here. And I need to get some blush to make little cheeks. Because I think they look so cute with a little bit of blush on them. And I just keep forgetting to buy a little thing of it when I go to the store. So I need to pick up some. But it's so cute. There's a fiber fuzz floating around. So I'm using this. This is a scrap yarn. I believe this is Red Heart. Um, I think it's Light Time or something like that. I used it for something. And then I, the rest of it I wound up into a ball. So that's all I got left is this much. But this will be enough to finish her and then still have some uh, leftover. And then for the black and white, I'm just using red heart black and white. <laughs> Nothing fancy there. And my e-hook is one of these Susan Bates. I think they're called soft grips. I got these gifted to me, um, gosh, a while ago. Like two years ago, maybe, or more. And I absolutely love these. These are some of my favorite ones to use. But it's just an e-hook, which is 3.5 millimeter. And yeah, so that's what I'm working on. I do have a... Halloween stitch marker. I came in here and pulled off a Halloween one because I thought that would be appropriate. <laughs> so I got my little jack-o'-lantern on there. I thought that'd be cute. And it's living in my bug bag. So that's what I'm working on Wednesday. I'm going to work on her some more today. I'm going to try to. I've been so busy lately. I haven't had a chance to record any videos <laughs> in the last three or four days. And I haven't even crocheted except for that. Uh, in three days i did make another amigurumi which i'll share with you guys eventually actually tomorrow in the stitcher stash that i'm gonna put out and then i made some squares that i'm also gonna share tomorrow because i used the same yarn um and then that's it i haven't crocheted in the last few days june hasn't been hard to take care of but she's been um not clingy because she's a baby but you know she's like been wanting to be held more <laughs> instead of sitting in her swing or on her little mat in the floor and all that so, uh, I've been holding her a lot <laughs> and wearing her a lot and stuff. And it's hard to, like, do anything with, uh, her strapped to me. But, yeah. So, anyways, she's in there right now with Jesse and Devin. And today's Wednesday. Today's our anniversary. The other day I said it's our fourth anniversary. It's our third anniversary. <laughs> I can't count. Uh, we got married in 2019. And then, so that's 20. 
19, 20, 21, 22, that's three years, that's not four years. But uh, this September we'll be together for uh, nine years. But yeah, anyways, today's our anniversary. We're not doing anything because <laughs> it's a Wednesday. Um, this weekend is Jesse's birthday. His birthday is on Sunday. We're having his little party on Saturday. His gifts are actually in this closet. They're hiding in there. Um, and a whole bunch of silly string <laughs> is also in there. But, uh, let's see here. And then next weekend after this one is my birthday and Mother's Day. And Devin has to work those days, which stinks. But, oh well, tis life. But, yeah, so I'm going to hop off here and get this edited for you guys. And I'm going to make a stitcher stash tomorrow. I'm, I meant to do it yesterday. I just didn't have the time. <laughs> but, anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you guys are working on today. And feel free to share any links or people's names or anything like that. I always say that. Uh, and also let me know what you make for dinner. Last night I made a really good, um, I'll try to, I'll link the recipe down below, but I did alter it. Um, it, I think it was called creamy chicken and potatoes or something like that. <laughs> uh, it was crock pot meal because I've been trying to make more of those because it's easier for me to get everything dumped into crock pot and let cook all day. Um, than to stand there and cooking with the baby. But, um, all it was was, uh, chicken breast, potatoes, carrots. I used canned carrots because that's all I had on hand. Um... You're supposed to use cream of chicken soup, but I didn't have any on hand, so I substituted that with um, sour cream and some chicken better than bouillon, the paste, the bouillon paste, which is really good. I love it because it's super, like, potent. Uh, and then you use a packet of ranch seasoning, which I just kind of eyeballed it because I have one of those big containers, and I, so I just kind of put as much in there as I think is a packet. <laughs> um, salt and pepper. And then I did end up putting, I'll put milk in there to... Uh, Substitute for the cream of chicken. I mean, milk in the um, sour cream. Jesse's sneezing. Uh, there was milk on there, and then at the end, I ended up making a slurry with flour and butter to thicken it up um, because it was real runny because I didn't have the cream of chicken soup. I substituted it, you know, so it wasn't the consistency it was supposed to be. And I served it with cornbread because we had cornbread. I made chili the day before that. And um, I made cornbread with the chili. So we had leftover cornbread, and it was really good with that. But it was really good. Me and Devin both really liked it a lot. And um, I'll, I'll share that below in case you want to check it out. It was really good. In the future, I need to put more than one can of carrots in there because it was hardly the carrot to potato and chicken ratio was off. <laughs> and it would also be good with probably like corn or green beans or something in it. And peas maybe. Devin likes peas. He said it was basically, it was almost like a... Um, chicken noodle soup but without the noodle and it, to me it reminded me of like chicken pot pie filling but without you know like the green beans and stuff and uh I don't know it was just really good we both really liked it it was really flavorful I thought and um I was afraid at first it wasn't gonna have enough flavor in it because the color because it's kind of like a beige color and I was like oh it's gonna be bland but it ended up actually being really good um we still have some leftovers in the fridge actually from it but anyways I'll link that below if you want to check it out um I can't remember what it's called but I, I know it's on my Pinterest <laughs> so um let me know what you guys are making for dinner, and uh, so I can maybe check it out and make it. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm gonna make today. I don't have anything thawed out. I need to get in there and thaw something out. <laughs> I might make. We have a steak left over. We have. We bought a three pack, so me and him each got a steak, and then there's an extra one. So I thought about cutting it up into strips and cooking it with um, broccoli and making a beef broccoli type Asian meal with the steak cut up. But I don't know if I'll do that today or not. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a stitch or stash. Because I am going to record that. <laughs> um, probably later today. So that I can get it out tomorrow. Early. Because I, won't ha I might not have the time tomorrow. I probably won't have any time Friday to make a video. Because I got a lot of errands I got to run. And Saturday's Jesse's birthday party. I'm, I might vlog this weekend. Because Saturday's his party at my sister's house. It's not really a party. It's just us getting together. Like we always do for his birthday. Um... And then that evening, we were thinking about going to the drive-in here in town because they're showing the new Sonic movie and we want to see that. Me, Devin, and Jesse, all three want to see that. And if we go to the drive-in, we can take June with us because we'll be in our own car, you know. Uh, we can't take her to the movie theater because she starts crying, you know, it'll disturb everybody. So we thought about um, going to the drive-in because, one, it's cheaper. It'd be like $25 to get in because I think it's $9 per adult, $7 for 12, 2 to 12, and then under 2 is free. So June would be free. Um, and we take our own food. <laughs> so we thought about maybe getting like a pizza, like Little Caesars pizza, and bringing a bag of popcorn and some drinks. And, uh, cause then we wouldn't have to buy food other than the pizza. <laughs> um, and we could just be in the truck and watch Sonic too. I thought that would be fun. But anyways, 
I'm blabbing. <laughs> so I'm gonna hop off here and I will see you guys in another video tomorrow and all that stuff. I hope you guys have a good Wednesday. <laughs> Bye guys.